So it's just gone about 8 p.m. I've been grinding these knives out all day. The pattern knife that I make for leather work. I'm leaving this one till tomorrow because I want to go and make a simple bifold wallet. Let's get on to the leather workshop. So if you're new here, my name is Tarek. I've been a full-time artisan for many years. My work in both leather and knives, like you see behind you, has gone around the world. And in today's video, I'm going to be making a bifold wallet. I've been playing around with a new design, and this video is going to be about me making that. Cutting all the pieces for a nice and easy bifold wallet. Um, this pattern, I'm trying to make it with something that will work quite nicely with uh, quite a few different thicknesses of leather. So this leather over here is 1.4 more thick, quite a thick leather for a bifold, but its design lends itself to that. It's going to be a nice chunky design that's really going to have some, I think it's going to look quite cool. So this is where a scarfing knife really comes in handy because I'm going to be taking down this thick chunk of leather which is all the different edges of all the pieces and turning that into something that's going to be a lot more comfortable to put into the pocket and it's going to just look a lot better. Guys if you are going to be hand scarfing remember to scarf consistently. Keep your knife in razor razor sharp condition. It's going to make the scarfing a lot easier and it's going to be a much safer knife to work with. There is a full instructional video on at least how I scarve leather on the channel, um, which will go over all the details of how you can scarve if you're wanting to do that. So even though I do have a leather splitter, I'm making this complete wallet, scarving the complete wallet with this knife. Um, so I've taken that down, this whole piece, which is a obviously a decorative piece, but that's been scarfed all the way down to 0.62 of a millimeter top side, and it's wafer thin on the bottom side, 0.34 of a millimeter on the bottom side. Um, so this will be a nice little detail that's going to come into the wallet. using this twist thread it comes from Rocky Mountain leather supply I really like this thread um, it just it stitches really nicely so this is what's going on to this project Okay, so this wallet landed up being not so simple. Came out quite nice though. 
I will be making a few changes to the design. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did find some value out of it, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I will be adding more and more content to this channel. See you on the next one.